it going, trainers? Trainer Connor here, and I am finally back to upload. Thank you for the patience. I was out for a while there, but we're finally back, and that's important, I guess. But here we have a match against Isaiah. This is week number six from the Indigo League of Legends. I'm not doing well, apparently. I just haven't won a single match that I've posted so far. But I believe that my opponent, Isaiah, who is a member of the Powtown Munchlasses, he has no fairy types. And I'm like, well, you know what? Let's try. Let's try and win this match. Because I feel very confident that there are no fairy types. Cause most of my Pokemon that I have are weak to fairy. Alright, so, starting off, we have to face a Langer Asturian form. I went for Dragon Pulse because I figured the Ice Beam was a little bit too obvious there, but I decided to do that just for that matter there. But he goes for Stealth Rock on the first turn, which I don't have a spinner. That's unfortunate. I don't have any reason to go for an Ice Beam again because I know he has Seismic Toad to switch in. And just for Seismic Toad, I have Power Whip. Unfortunately, I don't miss it. I know that Seismic Toad had like Infestation and Scald, I believe, and Ice Beam, all those weird moves there, but... Anyways, so he goes back into Langarus. I'm not sure if, like, if you want to go for an Earthquake, I could go for Ice Beam. But he went for another U-turn, which I, I guess he was predicting me to switch out. But that's fine, I go for an Ice Beam there. Expecting him to U-turn. Alrighty then. So, with that said, we have to face a Mega Manectric, and Mega Manectric is a little bit annoying. I don't really have anything for Mega Manectric. He's going to be full switching a lot, and that's going to be kind of a pain in the butt right there. But um, we have a critical hit Volt Switch hitting my Sylveon, who is my defensive variant. I have Angel, and my other Sylveon, Catherine, is offensive. I kind of alternate between those, but right now, in this battle, I have to have Sylveon defensively invested. Just because having Talonflame wreck my team is not a good idea. Anyway, so, I Deathfogger my Gudra there just to have a safe switch in so I can handle his Talonflame. I expected him to switch out and go back into his Mega Mega Manectric, excuse me, but Mega Manectric comes back in, like I said, and I go for full switch. I go back into Angel, who is going to take these hits. Well, not for long because of self lock damage, but you all get the idea. I have a little bit of special defense EVs because Sylveon is especially bulky all around. I go for Toxic. When he went for Thunder Wave. I'm not sure why he went for Thunder Wave like that because I thought Sylveon is pretty slow. But that's neither here nor there. I'm able to go ahead and poison this Manatric here, who is being a little bit annoying right now. I must say that. So we'll put a timer on him right now. So that way, when he goes down, I don't have to worry about it anymore. Unfortunately, I do get paralyzed and I was going to set up screens. And here I knew that he was going to go for another full switch and goes back in the California like I predicted him to. And I'm going to go for Reflect. This is great, because now that I have a buffer around, California is not that threatening. But I have to put some damage onto him. He goes for a U-turn. It's really interesting that my opponent, Isaiah, has a lot of U-turners plus a full switch user. Now, for some reason, I go for Toxic on the Manectric again, who is already poisoned. I'm not sure why I went for that move. If I went for a screen, that would have been a much better play. Now he goes for another full switch to finish me off. And that's okay, I guess. That is great, because then I can get a free switching to a Scavalier as he brings in his Landerian form. This is a choice banded scavenger that I have here. I knew I could take one hit even if it's a critical hit because of how much I did. 
that earthquake did nothing to the right to fire skywalker there and I take out the here and form landers with no issues there whatsoever. But that also means that he could always go back into Mega Electric to finish me off. He has one more attack left, and that's going to be crucial. Unfortunately, my reflector are off. Now here's where I make the mistake of this battle. I predicted him to switch out, but I predicted the wrong kind of switch. Because I went for Night Slash knowing that that he had SP on the switch in and the Trevenant as well. So I went for Night Slash instead of going for Aqua Jet. If I went for Aqua Jet, we would have been going somewhere to win the spell. Not saying that I will lose, but there would have been a much higher chance of winning the spell for sure. I knew I can take a hit from Espeon. It looks like it's a more offensive orientated Espeon that we see here. I get a critical hit. That did not matter too much. And we take out Espeon with that Leaf Blade. Now, unfortunately, since it is a Mega Manectric, he's going to outspeed me and finish me off with another Flamethrower. But that means that he is going to go down to the Poison. And that's how important the Cossack was. But unfortunately, it's a little bit too late there because my last Pokemon is a choice by Psycho. And I have to lock myself into one move to take care of Shady Tree and his Town Flames. So unfortunately, yes, we do take out the Trevenant later on, but I don't have anything to hit Town Flame. And he could just finish me off with a Four of Wits. So at this point, it's a good game right there, so if you guys enjoy this Wi-Fi battle, be sure to hit that like button, and uh, I will have more uploads coming to you later this week. I've got lots of Wi-Fi battles coming in for you guys, so look forward to that, and subscribe to see them, I guess. And here's Town Flight, I'm just going to come in. I didn't put a single dent on this Town Flight in this entire match, until now. So, yeah, there you go. That's the end of this match. I, I really don't like this team. It's too weak on the fairy side. And it's just not working out as Isaiah. So, anyway, so I hope you all enjoyed this Wi Fi battle. And I hope you all enjoyed my content. And I apologize for the lack of uploads. But I am coming in strong with some more Wi Fi battles coming this week. Alright, you guys have a great day. And I'll see you all later. Alright, bye now.